Hey YouTube, I've just arrived at the auction. It's the first time I've been to this particular auction after being full time. Um, this one's held on a Wednesday, um, Wednesday evening at six o'clock. But now I'm full time, I'm able to come here quite early. It's, it's around quarter to four now. So that gives me plenty of time to really rummage through all the items I've got. So there's a lot of bric-a-brac here and boxes of random stuff. Um, which all has quite good value, but I never have time to look through it. So um, the plan is, from now on, to really have a good look through the boxes so I can base my bids based on that. Um, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> in full swing now. I've just nipped out because the items I want to bid on don't come up until probably about 15 minutes time. So I'll give you a quick rundown on the stuff I've looked at and hope to bid on. Um, first up is a bag of lawn bowls. Um, I think I'm going to bid to a maximum of £5 for those. They come in a case. Um, I did quite well on the last ones. Um, and these ones look like they have potential to go between £20 and £40. Then there's a suitcase of maps in there. Now these are little ordnance survey maps. And I've done quite well off those as well. At £6.99 each free postage. Um... There, there must be getting onto a hundred maps maybe in there. So if I can sell them all at that sort of price, a couple of hundred pounds at least, assuming not all of them will sell. I'm going to try my hand at a box of costume jewellery. I tried this before and sort of failed, but I want to start on Etsy. I want to create a store on Etsy. So I want various jewellery items like necklaces and ear, um, earrings, decorative earrings. There's a couple of boxes of electrical wear which have DVD players in and VHS players and so on. There's quite a few of those. There's 
a box with, or four boxes rather, with a Technic stereo in and four um, Guitar Hero guitars. And I always do well off them, um, so I'm going to be quite high on that one. There's a box of cameras. I think there's about five different cameras in there. Um, so I'm going to bid five pounds on that. Should do well. The Nikon camera um, there, which I'm going to bid ten pound on, comes with a laptop, a small TV, and an iPod. But I don't really expect to get that one. Um, there's three boxes of Wii console stuff, mainly Wii wheels and some games and a couple of guitars and the usual sort of controllers and, and silicon pads and things. Um, so I'm going to bid about £15 on that. Um, that was just there. There's a couple of VHS recorders there which I'm going to go on. Low though, probably about three pound. Two Technic speakers, I'm going to bid five pound on those. There's a vintage gas stove, um, looks like it goes for about fifty pound. So I'm going to bid probably five to ten pound on that. There's a set of BT phones that split out and sell individually, the handset, the chargers and so on. Comes with some Prada shoes. So I hope that doesn't push up the price. Um, there's a sewing machine there. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for that. I might do. I'll probably bid, but I'm only going to bid low. Probably three or five pounds on that. There's a 10-pin bowling ball, which I've done well off. I get £25 each for those. So I'll bid up to about five pounds on that. There's a old hi-fi cabinet there, massive thing, but it's filled with hi-fi equipment, stereo, um, separate stereos and so on, um, which total up to well over £100 worth of goods. So I'm going to bid £20 on that. And the last lot I'm going to bid on is a box of vintage... Um, phones. You know, the old um, winding phones. There's about five of them in the box. So I bid about £10 on those, I think. And that's it. As I say, I'm not going to bid on too much um, because I've got so much to list still. But yeah, wish me luck. So as you can see, I spent £69.44 on seven lots here. So let's go to the first lot, which is this camera box. In here there's a Sony Cybershot camera, a Casio camera, Kodak, a USB hub, and a Fujifilm camera. and a Newgate alarm clock. So all of that was five pound, no sorry, three pound was the mission. So that's gonna be a, a good lot there. Um, the next lot was three boxes of Wii console accessories, which was this box here, which had this uh, um, non-genuine Wii style console in there which isn't going to sell for a lot but will sell for something but the main reason I bought this because of there's this Amiga joystick which should go for about £20 and there's a couple of other retro console sticks in here as well like that one for instance um, the the Xbox um, 360 hard drive DVD player. It's also this vintage arcade joystick as well. Um, came with there's another one of those ones there. 
they're going to be worth quite a lot, I would have thought. I'm going to have to do some research to see what they are. So I can't see any maker's name on it, but I'm guessing they're for like Ataris or Spectrums. Um, so there was that box, got a few other things in that box, but there's that box and this box, which has the contents of Rock Band for the Wii. Um, it looks like it's got most of the stuff here. It's got the microphone, drum kits, and um, a guitar in there. There's also this what was in there as well, which is a duck hair dryer. They should go for about £20, I think. Duck dry hair dryer. Various of the Wii things, some games, and a few steering wheels. And then the other box is this box here. She's stacked full of steering wheels and Disney Infinity things. Um, so I sort out all of those. They're all genuine wheels, and most of them are. Um, I bundle them up when I can, put them with Mario Kart games. I haven't got any Mario Kart games in stock at the moment, but um, for £3, can't really lose with that bundle. Um, the next lot was a pair of Technic speakers, which are these ones here. They're in nice condition. I've checked the, I've checked the actual speaker cones. They all look good. Looks like I should get about fifty pound plus postage for these, um, and they cost me five pound pair. So. A good one. Um, selection of craft items and household. Um, this cost me eight pounds, which is quite a few different boxes of things like this with the stones in candles, etc. But the the main reason I purchased this comes with those lights. They're gone Facebook. The main reason I purchased it came with these World Ride Wrestling belts and some wallpaper and this which is a Philips Infrafill health lamp in box so my money should be easily covered by that there's a lot of rubbish in this list lot. I've got to sort through it. All these folders, I might keep them for my um, to keep my sort of records in, business records and things. But most of it probably end up in the charity shop. So it's really just the health lamp, the wrestling belts, the wallpaper, and probably these lamps I stick on Facebook so I can get for them um, as a job lot. So for eight pounds worth it. Um, the next one was a sewing machine, which is here. It's a new home, a new home sewing machine. Covers with the pedal. I think the pedal's in one of the other boxes. Um, and it also came with this pretty knackered. Um, vacuum cleaner which will probably just go to the tip might try on Facebook but as you can see the handle's broken off of it so I might get a fiver for it maybe on Facebook to get rid of it and I've got the case for it just there and the next lot was this bowling ball in its bag and I got that for three pound then well off them seemed to get about 25 pound for those um, it's just a case of weighing it put it on the scales weigh it and then a couple of good photographs seemed to do well off them and then the final that I bid it on was a stag hi-fi cabinet with hi-fi equipment so this was quite a good lot. It came with 
these speakers which are Marant speakers unfortunately the cones have some damage as you can see in there so whether I sell them as units or take the tweeters out I don't know and as you can see this one's gone as well there which is a shame because they sell for about £50 if they're good but I'll have to look into that one see if it's worth selling them but the rest of it is here which is a Trio KR2600 um, receiver nice quality item that one Needs a good clean, but there's a nice wood, wood effect, or genuine wood rather, item there. Also, a belt drive turntable, dual 502. And listen to this, this is the quality of this piece. Listen to this. How quality that sounds. Really nice. Unfortunately, I think it's missing the lid because the it was in a cabinet. I think they took the lid off and um, used the cabinet lid as the lid of the turntable. Also came with Sony MDRP10 headphones. No idea their worth, but they, they look like they're okay. They just need a good clean. A Technics stereo cassette deck. Stereo cassette deck RSB665. And as you can see inside the car, I have the actual stag unit. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, it might just go to the tip. I might see if I can put it on Facebook. It's really heavy though. And I think that's it for the auction haul. Um, the last lot, I'm oh, sorry, one last thing was I was in town today and I went into a charity shop and picked this up for £5, which is an LG VHS player with the manual, with the remote. Nice one, six head. Should do well off that. So thanks for watching. Hope these items gave you some inspiration to find these sort of things yourself. I'll be doing a sales roundup tomorrow, as usual, so you won't see any of these ones because I haven't listed them yet, but you may see them in a few weeks' time on a sales roundup, hopefully selling for quite a lot. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!